My hair, where's the weave? Where's the weave? I'll wait. Where's the weave? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney Marlowe Weeks. If you don't know who I am, thank you for tuning in. But if you do know who I am, thank you for coming back. On this channel, we do beauty, business, and lifestyle videos all luxuriously. Of course, today's video is a lifestyle video. It is a day in life vlog with me. But before we get into today's video, two things I need you to do. Number one, hit the red subscription button down below. Join the family, you're already here, you might as well. And number two, follow me right here on Instagram. It's the always season first, make sure you follow me on that platform as well. So today is Sunday, it is the 12th of September. And there's a lot going on today. So I'm gonna show you how I did this hair in just a second. This is a huge part wig if you didn't know. Okay. So, number one, I'm fully clothed. I just have this robe on because of the fact I'm probably gonna be spraying my hair and I don't wanna get my shirt wet. That's a disclaimer. Now that I'm looking like the girl from the Polar Express. So basically what I was doing, and also if you hear my laundry, if you hear my laundry in the background, forgive me, but it's Sunday. With my concussion, it's been very hard for me to install lace front wigs, which I love lace fronts. Like I truly enjoy them. I really, really do. It's so great, you can sleep in them, wake up, but I've been getting headaches, like extreme headaches. And I recently went to the dentist and found out, um, I get my wisdom teeth out October 13th because they have been causing me so much problem. I was supposed to get them out in 2020. Then the C word happened, you know what I'm talking about, the panini. Um, and now they're fully grown and fully pushing in, but they're pushing in, what is this, horizontally, not vertically. It's making all of my teeth shift um, which one, I don't wanna mess up my smile. I was already looking to get my teeth done, but now I really have to get them done because it's messing it up. Not only that, but my top ones are so high up in my skull um, that they're actually in my sinus cavity. I would say for the past two weeks, it's been really bad. It's felt like I've had an ear infection and a sinus headache at the same time. Like, first my doctor thought I had sinusitis, which is a baby cold. She was like, I don't really know why you have this. And I was like, I don't really know either, but it's actually my wisdom teeth. So I get them out October 13th, but between the headaches for my concussion, which, thank you Jesus, is no longer, I haven't had one in a really long time, about like two weeks now, which I'm thankful for, I'm getting much better. But now it's my teeth. Like any pressure on my head, I just can't do it. u parts are just really easy for me. One thing about me, I'm a recyclable wig, okay? I have wigs for like five years before I throw them out. There is no, and I recently just threw out like two wigs. I was trying a lace front that didn't end up turning out well. I did not like the lace, it did not melt, and it was too tight. Um, I have a big head, so it just, it didn't work out. But I practiced all my really good black wigs, which I shouldn't have did, and I had to throw it out. But that one was shedding at this point. It was like two years old, so I needed to throw it out anyway. So right now we have this curly hair, okay? And then my hair is curly. So if you guys see, I just have, first of all, can we talk about the length check? I literally cut my hair up to here, and what was that, March? My hair grows so fast, it's ridiculous. That's another thing about wigs it grows your hair so fast because you're not doing anything to your hair. And that's why I wanted a curly unit um, because I wasn't trying to put all that heat on my hair. The curly unit, which is a U part, which if you don't know, it's literally shaped like a U. And I just have this leave out, this side left out, and then the top left out. And then if you guys see, I attached four clips right here. They are high quality combs, so they're not gonna be ripping my hair out or anything like that. And I could just snap it on, snap it off, and I don't have to sleep with it. I was going to sew it down, but I was like, if I get a headache, I'm gonna be really mad. So I just think it's right now in my life. Best to just snap on, snap off, and I also have a clip at the bottom to put at the nape of my neck and adjustable straps. So this is the unit. I also have a headband wig, but I might turn the headband wig because y'all, I don't know about you, but the headband wigs be falling off my head. Like they do not, like even with the combs, they be sliding back and I don't like that. So I might take the headband wig and turn it into a U-part and use that as like a yakky straight texture. Might do that, I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to work with that and see if that even works. But basically I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do this. So I just have, I washed my hair last night. This is the perimeter. So the clips will go here and the wig will just lay and I'll go run my errands and do all that type of stuff. So mind you, this is the theory. I have not done a U part in quite some time. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is, if your hair is not long enough to do this, I'm gonna take these two braids, I hope you guys can see, but I'm just going to push, I'm just going to push them kind of like this for today, just so they can be out the way and up. 
And then I'm gonna take this bottom comb. I always put the bottom comb in first. So I have to look in the mirror, y'all. So excuse me if this is not, oh, nice and secure. It's not giving headache, which we love. Y'all just saw that that literally took me two seconds. Literally took me two seconds, y'all. It's very comfortable. I didn't put a clip on the sides because I, I always tuck my hair behind my ears. This was so easy. Everything's nice and flat and not going anywhere, which we love to see it. I love how this just works. Oh, she back. All right, so let's do our leave out. So I'm gonna show you guys how long my hair has gotten. So my hair, I don't know how my hair grows so fast as it does. I just had a bob. I literally go just had a bob. Like, anyways, it's because I don't do anything to it. I'm going to get a few products. One, spray bottle. If you don't have this, this is a mister off of Amazon that I brought this for like $5. You get this at your local beauty supply store too, but it just continuously mists, which is beautiful. We're gonna need a comb. I'm gonna use like a nice little comb like this. What else? Um, definitely some mousse. Argon oil. Definitely need edge booster. The trick though, y'all, is this black wax. They also have it in clear if your hair is not black. My hair isn't black right now. It's definitely giving like one B. This is giving a strong one. Oh, and a hard bristle brush. You're gonna definitely need a hard bristle brush. I'm probably gonna use a little bit of gel too, so. And honestly, I used to be like, when I used to have curly hair or whatever, my hair used to be so long. I used to be so obsessed with like having it super, super defined and super, super non frizzy and super sleek. And it's just like now, I just wanted to blend so I can go do my errands and it just looks <laughs> presentable. It's just so funny how priorities change as you get older. All right, <laughs> this, this is what we working with. This is what we working with. You know, it'd be one thing to be like an influencer to be like, oh yeah, this just look, looks naturally like no sis. You gotta put some work. Now, I'm gonna get two clips. Wow, I look insane, I'm so sorry. But you see my hair, like the black is gone, the black is gone but it's okay i'm gonna make it work so you want clips like this don't get these bent ones i hate these ones because they get stuck in your hair so i only use the flat lightly spritz some water now, i will tell y'all in the winter time i'm probably going to wear like that yaki straight one so then i'm going to take some wax about that much and i am just going to uh put this in my palms and i do this first before i do anything else because I don't know why y'all. It just makes your hair smooth. Like, I can't explain it until I show y'all, but trust me, especially if you have like a, a straight U part, put some wax on your hair. I promise you it's gonna make it so much easier to blend. I'm taking some Eco Styler gel, like a good glob. I use so much gel, it's ridiculous. Now, this is the thing. I put a little bit on top, but you don't wanna put so much where, I'm gonna explain it. You don't wanna put so much on the top where you're gonna see the track. Like you could make it so flat that you'll see where the track is and you don't want that. Take your brush and start to smooth the hair. Woo! See how we did that? See how we did that? See how we just did that? A lot of tat tat. All right, so now I'm gonna do my edges before I like finish everything. Oh my God, I got wax all over this. And everything, the last thing I do is mousse. That's the absolute last thing. So pull out your baby hairs. I can pull mine out just by kind of doing this. And your baby hairs, not your grown adult hair jaw. Like don't be that human. Pull them out. And mine are, mine's a mix. I don't be paying my baby hairs on mine for real, for real. Okay, edges are done. Edges are laid. This one's giving me big baby edge, but it's okay. Like I'm smoothing it as much as I am because it's just blending into the weave. You see that? I, that's how I do that. The last thing, mousse. I use like three to four pumps. This is the argon oil. This is personally my favorite mousse. Um, you can use whatever works best for you and your hair, but for me and mine, this a little bit. I always do this just so it can have some definition. Now, the only thing that I will do different tomorrow is I will probably make the adjustable straps a little bit tighter. But that's it, that, that's the look. That is how I, oh, and then the clips. So what I do with the clips, right? Because the thing, you want it to be nice and flat, right? So I'm gonna take these clips while I'm like doing stuff around the house because it's drying, right? 
and you want this to stay as flat as possible. You can put one down here. I, I just like it to be flat like this. So it looks like my hair. My hair. Um, but that's that's how I do this. I literally, I know I look like a wombat in the beginning. I am the true meaning of trust the process every single time. God bless my future husband because he's gonna think like I'm insane when it comes to weave. But that's it, really simple. In the morning it takes me, like like I'm not explaining it to you guys, it takes me literally like five minutes to do this. So that is it, I'm gonna let my hair, because it's summertime, it's gonna dry really fast. Um, in the winter time, I mostly just keep it molded and I try to just fix it with a little bit of gel in the morning, but I don't make my hair wet because I don't wanna catch bronchitis. But that's the hair, that's how I do a U part. As you saw, it was super simple. I would make the adjustable straps tighter. I'll definitely do that tomorrow. My hair, where, where's the weave? Where's the weave? I'll wait. Where's the weave? Now, I will say, um, if you have shorter hair, my hair, my hair type blends with this texture is able to do that, but if you have shorter hair, you can make it work. You can make it work if you have 4C hair, it doesn't matter. I've seen people have this type of texture and make it work with all hair types. So don't just be limited and be like, oh, she got soft hair, she can make it work. No, I've seen all people with all hair types make this type of weave work. Um, but for me, this is just how I do it. So I'm gonna throw my clothes on and then I will see you guys. I'll I'll show you my outfit in a little bit. I'm about to throw my clothes on and yeah. Okay, so I got the dress, I have this tunic on i'm gonna wear that with some gucci sandals i have this ring this ring i brought for christmas from david yearman i don't know if you guys can see that but it's the prettiest ring it's a solid gold ring with a single carat diamond in it i love it i love it because you just wouldn't know like it's expensive without i don't know maybe you would i don't know earrings took me a while to decide but i love these these are my mother's um they're just gold little earrings i feel like they give me like such like an old school vibe but like also like so classy and just oh my god all right let's get what set do i want to put on don't want 540 no tell me mm, mm, mm. all right i'm gonna mix i'm gonna mix this is baccarat 540 if you guys know the deal i love this one it's like this y'all know the deal i love this as a base scent it's very light to be honest with you guys it's very light um and i'm gonna layer that with a classic of mine which is the victor and raw flower bomb this is literally my first scent ever and it just smells so good on me our hair has set and molded you really should leave them in as long as you can but it's it's fine for today it's totally fine i'm gonna leave these actually up here. but we have a lot of things to do today we're about to go food shopping right now um we're about to clean out the refrigerator it's just how I do my Sundays. And we're actually going to church today. This is the first time that I've been in a physical church since before the panini, you know, the C word. And so I'm very excited. My church is not back open. Do not get it twisted. Like Miss Delta is still not a joke here. But we have a few baptisms today and I'm going to support. I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna be double masked up, but it's just gonna be really nice to be back in church. I feel like I need it because I've been fought so hard y'all in this last like six weeks that I just need to be I'm always in the presence of God, even in my home, but sometimes it is just nice to be in church. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited to go today. So I'm going to empty the fridge. The first thing that we're gonna do is get rid of these beautiful flowers. Uh, these are from Trader Joe's. I always get my flowers from Trader Joe's. They literally last two weeks. The way that I make them last two weeks, so I'll get two of these. One will have a packet of food and the other one will have a packet of food. I split the packet in the both of these vases. So I'll do a half and a half of a packet, which makes these two vases right here for the first week. And then on the second week, I will take the flowers out, rinse the vase out, give it fresh water, and use the other packet for the next week. And that's how I get them literally to last. They're fully bloomed for two weeks straight. And you don't have to buy flowers every single week. Just a little hack and a pro tip, but definitely need to get some fresh flowers. I need to be to the church. It starts at one, but I'm probably going to get there about two o'clock because they're going to be there all day anyways. God forgive me, but they are, I know them. I'm gonna go food shopping first so I can just get that done and over with. I just need to get a few things out of my refrigerator. I haven't even eaten today. I've been on this natural cleanse. I've been on this cleanse since Tuesday, which is basically just fruits, vegetables, and protein. No carbs, no sugar, no nothing, no nothing at all. But you know, it's, it's really not that bad. I feel really good on it. Um, it's fasting every other day until 11 o'clock. So on day one, I'll have three meals. On the next day, I'll have two meals breaking my fast at 11, but I feel really good. I've lost six pounds doing it since Tuesday. Today's Sunday, so it's what, like five days? And I 
feel really good and I have a lot of energy, which is great. And it's just kind of retraining my brain how to eat. I don't want to talk about it because I'm so sick of talking about like, oh, I'm going to lose weight. Oh, I'm going to lose quarantine weight. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do it. And then when I do it, I'm going to come to you guys and I'll tell you everything that I did when I get to my goal, which we got a little ways to go, but it's okay. We're going to get there eventually. But I just said, me and my mom challenged ourselves like as accountability partners just to take the next three months super serious with our diet and our lifestyle and our weight and our exercise and water intake and all of those healthy things. I'll be back with the results, but I just, that's what I'm doing. So my grocery list is not very long since I can only eat fruit, vegetables, and protein, but I do want to go now before the Monday crowd gets there. We are back from food shopping. I got a good amount of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It is 1.30, which is perfect because I can get to Philly by like two o'clock. So I'm like right on schedule to get to church. Um, the first thing that I picked up were these flowers. They're so pretty. I got the mini roses. I usually just get the mini roses because they bloom so beautifully. Um, but these are the only ones that I really liked. And then I got the medium sized stemmed roses, which are these yellow ones and they're so pretty. I'm going to do those when I get back home just because I kind of just want to get on the road. Oh, I made myself a little snack because I haven't eaten yet. Um, my fast is over at 11.30, but I really try to push it as far as I can. Um, so I'm just going to have these two hard boiled eggs and these grapes and some water and I'll eat that on my way down. But this is the meat that I got for the week. So I just have some turkey bacon because sometimes like, sometimes I just want an omelet and some turkey bacon. So I think we have some turkey bacon from Trader Joe's. I got some ground beef. This is 96% lean, 4% fat, just looks like that. I'm making taco bowls this week, so that's for that. And then I also got some ground turkey because I'm making Thai lettuce cups tomorrow. I am gonna marinate this meat just to get it prepped and ready for the meals, but I'm gonna do that when I get back home. So then I have some shredded carrots and some shredded cabbage. I'm making jerk chicken this week, so I got some cabbage with some peppers and onions to go along. And I also got some cucumbers. I like this as a snack, or I like this sometimes like with my Thai lettuce cups. It just, I eat cucumbers all the time. They're really hydrating and really good for you. The next beer I got are the cotton candy grapes. These are so good. I literally love grapes. As you can see, I already have some in my house that I need to eat up. Grapes are just like a staple in my house. I also have a bag of apples. These are from Trader Joe's. These are the Kwanzie. Ponzi apples, they're so good. They're better than Honeycrisp apples. If you're an apple lover and it's apple season, get the Ponzi apples over the Honeycrisp. Trust me, they're so good. Especially when they're nice and cold. Oh my goodness. I also got a cantaloupe. I always get my cantaloupe from Trader Joe's. They're wonderful. They're perfectly sized for like just myself. I can eat this on a whole entire week. Um, however, this needs to sit out for a couple of days. So I'm going to put this in a brown paper bag and let this ripen up. For the fruit, strawberries and raspberries, this is a staple. This is actually part of the cleanse that I'm doing in the diet. I usually eat this either in the morning or I'll eat this for dessert and it's just so tasty and so good. So I love berries, they're so good. And we're at the end of berry season, so I'm trying to like eat as much as I can because it's almost over. I picked up two salads from Trader Joe's. I love the lemon chicken and arugula salad. There's a salad, it's called the detox salad, which is in the program diet that I'm doing for the cleanse. And honestly, it's like literally the same thing. The only thing that they do is they add, they add couscous in this. So honestly, I don't think like, I'm eating so low calorically, a little couscous ain't gonna hurt. So I just picked two of these up. These are like for the days that let's just say that I was too tired to cook the night before and I don't have any lunch. I keep these in the fridge just so I can always have a lunch prepared and I'm not eating off. So even though it's not like 100%, like 100% of what they want me to be eating, like nine out of the 10 ingredients are in here and it's better than me eating like Taco Bell or Vietnamese food or something, you know, that's off the diet plan. We got some vegan cheese. I like the Daya or the BioLife. I personally like BioLife better than the Daya cheese. I haven't been eating dairy. Um, if you can see, my skin is so clear because I have not been eating dairy at all. With that being stated, the two that I get is the cheddar and mozzarella shreds. I use this for everything, for omelets, for taco bowls. I'll just put a little taco seasoning in it and it's literally Mexican cheese. It just works and it's non-dairy and it tastes really good and it doesn't taste like plastic, so. I have a head of iceberg lettuce and I also have some shredded iceberg. This is for the taco bowls and this is for my lettuce cups. I picked up one head of scallion just because lettuce cups, 
I also picked up two green bell peppers. I don't know if it's just me. I literally use peppers and onions for everything, like omelets, dishes, lunch, salads. Peppers and onions just go in everything for me, so, and they're really good for you too. So I always pick up like two because I just go through them in the week. So that's important. And I also picked up a white onion because I, once again, peppers and onions, I go through them fast. And personally, I love red onion, but I also like white onion for specific things as well. And the last thing for the fridge, I got Trader Joe's has the best. The absolute best, the absolute best hard boiled eggs. I don't know what they do to them, but they're top tier, perfectly yellow in the center every single time. They don't taste weird. Wawa has really good hard boiled eggs too, but Trader Joe's, since that's more accessible for everybody around the country, their hard boiled eggs are the best. They're, you don't have to peel them, they're already pre peeled. It's just quick and easy and ready to go, and I love it. Oh my God, I didn't get any eggs. I knew I was forgetting something. I didn't get any eggs. Oh my gosh, I didn't get some like me. And then things for the cupboard, I picked up these grain-free tortilla chips. This is the Siete brand, which I absolutely love. They're paleo, vegan, grain-free. Like they're just so good. They're cassava flour, which I love because it's not like a real chip. So you can have a little snack without feeling guilty. I'm just trying to find alternatives that when I really want McDonald's french fries, that I don't want to go off track of my lifestyle diet that I'm currently transitioning into. What are some good alternatives? And this is one. This is the lime one. They also have one that's churro flavored. Those smack hard, but I couldn't find them at Wegmans. So I just picked these up today. These are really, really good, the lime flavor. They kind of taste like the Tostitos lime chip. Like that's how I had to trick my brain into it, but they're really good. Like if, you, if you're really craving like a carb, like if you're doing no carb diet, it's, it's in the beginning, it's hard. And if sometimes even now I'll just be like, hmm, I can really go for a carb. I'll just eat like three of these and it just nicks that craving. Very thankful for these. Also picked up these, I've been seeing these on Instagram and they had these in um, Wegmans. They're the wild protein chips, which is the chicken breast. They're, this is the sea salt and vinegar because I love salt and vinegar chips. Um, this is the chicken and they're 10 grams of protein. There's no sugar added, no sugar at all actually, which I was very impressed with. But I'm going to try these because Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. These are 12 out of 10 for me. And I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, they're grain free, gluten free. Look at me being like, oh, I don't eat gluten. I'm really trying my best to like be healthier. It set a good example, like with being consistent of it. So first week down, it wasn't too bad, which I know, and I literally told myself, this is gonna be the hardest week of your life because anything after this is gonna be easier. And I got through it and I didn't cheat. I didn't eat off, I didn't do anything crazy. But this right here, you could have 20 chips. Bro, you could have half of the bag for 160 calories. You only need a few though. These taste like, if you're a chicken fan, Popeye's thighs, the skin of a Popeye's thigh with salt and vinegar on it. I don't ever have to have a chip again. All right, last one, there you go. I'm obsessed. They're expensive, they look like $5 at Wegmans. Maybe you can go to like a different market and get them for cheaper. I would buy these in bulk. There's no aftertaste either. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, on this fine day. Woo! You gotta praise him for the little things. Mm. I am going to put this in the brown bag, and then we're going to head to Philly, um, which is about a 20 minute drive from my house. So, um, also my hair is completely dry. This is what it looked like. Mind you, I was in the wind a lot, okay? So, it, it, it was kinda, it was kinda giving a little wind. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Mind you, I was in the wind a lot, but it's completely dry. I wish I would have left the clips on a little bit longer because it would have been a little bit more flat, but for today, it's fine. You know, it's fine, it's fine. So I'm about to head to church. I will get as many clips as I can. And then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna prep the meat. Oh my God, my hand was on the, I hope you guys can hear everything. And then that's pretty much the day with me. I'm gonna prep for work tomorrow. I did some work last night, but Monday is I try to make it as easy as possible because I never know what I'm walking into. I'm definitely, since I'm literally right in my facility, I'm going to check on my site while I'm down there. I'm gonna go hop in the car now and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. It is 
five o'clock, I am back after the day, which is nice. I'm about to do my flowers from Trader Joe's now. And I went to church. I was only there for like 20 minutes because I really thought they were gonna be there all day, but they're really not, they really weren't. So um, by the time that I got there, it was pretty much over. So I just was there for like 15, 20 minutes. I did get to see everybody and say hello and you know, arm bump them and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was it was done. So I took that time and I went to my grandmother's and saw her because I didn't see her all week. So my grandmother, if you don't know, she just turned 90 in July. So it's really important that I spend as much time as possible while she's still here with me because grandmother is 90 years old and in perfect health which I'm very thankful for but I still like to spend as much time as possible um and I don't care how busy I am I don't care what my schedule is I always make time for my little because that's that's my heart I went and spent like an hour hour and a half with her and then I just got home um I just saw my mom if you don't know we live in the same area neighborhood so I was able to see her I just basically did my family rounds today which was nice but I'm going to do these flowers now and then make some dinner I'm going to probably going to edit this video and post it and then make dinner just so I can like pop in the shower and be done. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. It was just a short little vlog, a little day in life with me. Being back with consistent content is really the goal and I'm really happy to be back. I've been through so much in the last six weeks that I'm just happy to be back and be posting. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, what are you doing? Hit the red subscription button down below. Join the family, you're already here, you might as well. And the bell notification so you can see every time that I post. And comment down below what you would like to see next, what other vlogs you would like to see. I know I'm definitely gonna be vlogging me getting my wisdom teeth out because I think that's gonna be hilarious. But the next weekly vlog will be next Sunday on the 19th at 7 p.m. So check out for that. And then I'll have regular you know, beauty and business lifestyle content this week for the other two videos so that's it i love you all so much and i will see you in my next one bye